Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In Publisher, you can customize the publication pages themselves using the various fill effect formatting that you've also seen applied to shapes and pictures. You can click the background button in the page background group on the page design tab within the ribbon to display a drop down menu of default page background choices. Let's go ahead and take a look at that on the page design tab that we have displayed here. The page background group at the end, give that a click and then choose background. And we'll see the default choices that we have. We can scroll down. You can roll your mouse pointer over these and you'll see what they would look like. To apply one, just give it a click and it will apply it. Now, you could also select no background, and if you select that, it will actually remove a background that you've already applied to a page. If you want to create a custom page background, then go back and select more backgrounds at the bottom here, and that will open the fill effects dialog box that we see here. You can use this dialog box to fill the background of the page with a custom design of your choosing. To apply a gradient background, click the gradient tab, that's the first one here. You can then select whether you want one color, two colors, or to use one of the preset gradients by selecting the desired option button in the colors section in the upper left hand corner. If you select the one color option, then you use the adjacent color one drop down right here to select your choice of colors. Go ahead and give that a click. Now of course if you select the two color options then you would click the color two that you want to mix it with, in that case black or you could change it to any color you like and you can mix the two colors to create a gradient. Now if you select the preset option, then you choose the name of the preset gradient to use from the preset colors drop down. But next, in the shading styles area down here, choose the option button for the style of gradient that you prefer. Horizontal, we have vertical, diagonal up, diagonal down, from corner, from center, and so forth. So we'll just go ahead and give one of those a click. After you've clicked the one you prefer, then you can just click the OK button to apply your gradient. Now to apply a texture background to a page instead, we'll go back to page background, background, and more backgrounds, and instead we'll click on the texture tab here. Then you just click on the desired texture from the list that we have. And if you have other textures available to you, you could click Other Texture and navigate to that particular texture. Well, you can choose from one of these presets, give it a click, and then click OK if you want to apply a texture instead. Go back to Page Background, click on Background, More Backgrounds. After Texture, we have Pattern. And to apply a pattern page background, after you click the Pattern tab, you can then select two colors to use for the pattern from the foreground and background color drop-downs that are shown. We could choose our scheme colors, for example, or some unique colors. And then you can then select a pattern from the list, whichever one you prefer, and then click OK, like that. We'll go ahead and choose background again, more backgrounds, and go to picture this time. Because you can also select a picture from your computer to use as a tiled page background. Now to do this, you click the picture tab, and then click the select picture button to open the insert picture dialog box. Navigate to where it's located. Select your image and then click Insert. After doing that, you then click the OK button to apply the picture and it will be tiled on your page. 
one more time. Go to More Backgrounds. If you wish to apply a color tint as a background instead, then click the Tint tab. After doing that, you use the Base Color drop-down to select the desired base color to use, located right here. You can then select the desired tint of the color to apply by selecting one from the Tint and Shade list. And so you can go up here and select any of those that are available. And then you can, of course, click the OK button to apply the selected tint as a page background. So lots of choices in terms of customizing your page backgrounds in Publisher. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.